the Knicks taking on the Warriors. And what a finish to this one. Julius Randle, 28 points, 22 for Evan Fournier. Steph Curry, he scores 35 points. He was 5 of 16 from downtown, though. 31%. He did have 10 assists. And here he is on the break. They tried to double team. He pump fakes. Oh, my goodness. He's got him out of bounds as he makes it splash. Give that guy a map. Where are you going? Randall goes to the basket. Wiggins says, let me give it to Curry. He launches from way downtown. Of course, he's got to pull out the dance moves after that one. Hand off to Curry. He dribbles a little bit and then makes it splash again. Knicks are fighting, though, in this game. Randall, tough layup, banks it off the glass. Still in the third quarter. They're going back door into the paint, and he's dominating. He's off balance, and he still made that one drop. Ten-point lead for the Knicks with ten minutes to go, though. That's a lot of time. They're going to get a three in the corner. Gives them a little bit more of a cushion. Here comes Curry and the Warriors, though. He's dancing. Crossover, step back. That was dirty. Too much space. It's a five-point game. A lot of misdirection. Clay gets a wide-open layup after the pump fake. Curry dancing. Looks like he wants the three. Oh, he drops Julius Randle with the half-spin move. Take another look at this one. Oh, he loves that baseline. That's the same baseline, same side when he got CP3 leaning years ago. Curry to the basket, and he just misses the layup. Wow. One more chance to win the game or tie Clay. Pump fakes has a good look, and it's off. And the Knicks take down the Warriors. What the hell is that? Run, buddy, run. Why are you saying what it is? I can't move. Damn. Look at how many of them there are. All I can do is do a crossover, a step back. Oh, we're cheesing. I'm snatching back. Oh, I'm about to die.